Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment. The people that have made a difference on the planet. When a John F. Kennedy said, we will go to the moon in the next decade, he spoke it. That was a commitment and people shared that vision. People bought into that. We've had all kinds of examples in history where people have made declarations, who have committed their lives to bring about a difference. There are people who are taking a stand today against hunger. I guarantee you that will be a part of our past at some point in time. Someone took a stand against polio. It no longer plagues us as it once did. Because someone said, it is my commitment to eradicate it from the face of the earth. Someone made the commitment. The reason that we're here and enjoying the democracy that we have. Someone made a commitment that whatever is required, if it means that I die, I remember Paul Robeson, here I stand for, I can do no other. And that's how you must be. Commitment means standing up for your life. It means honoring yourself. It means, it means beginning to say and to, to see and recognize your alignment and oneness with the universe. And that you are a channel for life to express through. And we short-circuit it with anger. We short-circuit it with fear. We short-circuit it with, with envy. We short-circuit it by being lazy or apathetic or giving up easily. Why, why, why? We say, oh, it's too hard, it's too hard. We don't challenge our spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing as powerful as the human spirit. You can't destroy it. You can pervert it, but you can't destroy it. I was reading Man's Search for Meaning by Victor Frankl. What a powerful book. I'm reading it now for the seventh time. And he gives so many graphic examples of, of the power of the human spirit. And so what are some of the things that can, can fortify us and, and give us the kind of inner strength that will allow us to forward ourselves into the future by manifesting our commitments? Number one, commitment means in some cases going back to school, getting some training, sitting up in classes with people younger than you, putting yourself in a position where you don't know and that is awkward and uncomfortable, but because of your commitment to develop yourself or to go back to school to get a high school diploma or to get a college degree, that it doesn't matter, feeling dumb and saying, what am I doing here, setting up in some boring class? Commitment can mean a lot of things. It could mean that you begin to go back. You gotta back up sometimes means to back up and not give up, to regroup, back up and regroup and come back again. Because life has waylaid you, because you got knocked down. I know when, when I was working on my dream, there were times I, I lost my house at one point, I lost my car, I was broke, my credit was bad, I was sleeping at different friends' houses on their couch or on the floor. There were times, months, that I slept on the floor of my office and got up early and dressed before my staff got there to give them the impression that I got there early before they did. <laughs> and we all pretend not to know what we knew, that the boss was staying in the office. <laughs> so we never talked about it. But I refuse, I refuse to give up on my dream. And what happens, they say, you know, in the prosperous years, you put it in your pocket, in the lean years, you put it in your heart. It makes me appreciate it even more, even more. I, I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. The disappointment, the pain that I've gone through by keeping the commitment, Keeping the commitments that you have might mean taking a stand that's, that's unpopular. Something was said one time, when you take a position, it says cowardice asks the question, is it safe? Politics asks the question, is it popular? But conscience or commitment asks the question, is it right? And see, most people rather operate from the first two. Is it safe for me to take this position? I remember when I was a state legislator, I saw guys and, and, and women who believed in legislation very strongly, but because the Speaker of the House said, we won't go with that, they backed down. And they felt bad about it. They wouldn't take the position because they didn't want the Speaker of the House to be angry at them. 
They wanted to be all right with all of the rest of our colleagues. See, it takes a great deal of strong courage and commitment on your part to step out a line. To, you know, Henry David Thoreau says, if a man doesn't keep pace with his companions, perhaps he's listening to the beat of a different drummer. Let him dance to the music that he hears, however measured or far apart. When you are committed, you're dancing to the beat of a different drummer. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. You just a few years from retirement. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. Work. Here's what I suggest. Number one, that does happen. So take total responsibility for it. Just own it. Don't make any excuses on why you gave in or why you didn't come through. Just own it. And face the flack, whatever it is. And stand up inside yourself. Next thing is, assess the situation. How did you get here? What happened that you broke down, that you had a breakdown and you surrendered? What happened? What was going on? See, when I used to go on a diet, and I no longer do that, I've made a commitment to a healthy lifestyle. I used to eat up until 12 midnight on Sunday. Anything that wasn't moving. <laughs> and on Monday, I would, I would get up and, and, and um, eat a fruit, get a light fruit breakfast, and for lunchtime, I would um, fix some broiled chicken and meticulously peel the skin off and eat the chicken, and then eat the skin. Do five setups, look in the mirror, and become discouraged because my stomach doesn't look like a washboard or one of the Avon Haley dances. And I say, what the use? And then I go to the refrigerator and eat food cold standing right there in the refrigerator. So when I evaluated where I broke down, I realized I can't have junk food in the house. So I changed my route. I stopped taking people to lunch or to dinner because I couldn't sit there and watch them eat. When I had to go someplace and speak and they were eating, I said, call me downstairs when it's time for me to speak. Because if I sit at the table looking at them, the food's going to call my name. <laughs> and I know this. So I had to begin to make sure that I wasn't putting myself in a position where I would give up on my commitment. Am I making sense to you? Yes. So I began to strategize around avoiding situations where I knew that I was going to become weak. Another thing I do when I don't keep my commitment, I either deny myself something or I do a trade-off. If a glazed donut takes advantage of me, <laughs> then I require myself to do an extra 25 setups, or I walk for an extra 15 or 20 minutes because I got a hammerlock on my head and say, come on over here. So you might have to deny yourself something or do a trade-off. Do something that will offset it. The other thing is, start again. So what? You fell flat on your face. So what? Start again. Learn from the experience and start again. Don't count yourself out. Don't sentence yourself to a lifetime of being miserable, a lifetime of being broke, a lifetime of being unhealthy, a lifetime of being in a relationship that is no longer fulfilling to you. A lifetime of, live, of working on a job that, that does not bring you satisfaction, that's not giving you the creative um, urge that you need and, and, and that got to have in your life that stimulates you. Don't sentence yourself like that. You are a human being. Don't volunteer your life that way. Your life has too much value to the universe. You've got something to contribute. You've got something to give. And so what if you make a commitment and you're not able to do it like a pro? that you're not good as everybody else. Live in the moment. I like what this says, look to this day for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all the realities and verities of existence, the bliss of growth, the splendor of action, the glory of power. For yesterday is but a dream and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope look well therefore to this day see if we just start enjoying where we are if we make that kind of commitment to enjoy where we are to experience the experience of life where we are 
to do all we can right now where we are. Forget about the mistakes yesterday. Forget about all your failures yesterday. Forget, forget about what you don't have. That's not important. Only thing that we have is right now. Right now, right now. And I say that life is calling on you to call forth on that. The Optimists, which I think one of the most positive groups in, in the world, they have something called the Optimist Creed. And I like, it says, promise yourself. I changed it to commit yourself because I think that commitment has more power than promise. It says, commit yourself to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind. To talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet to make all your friends feel that there is something in them to look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true to think only of the best to work only for the best and expect only the best to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future to wear cheerful continents at all times and give every living creature you meet a smile. To give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others. To be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. Commit yourself to these things. Isn't that powerful? What a commitment to make with your life. Commit yourself to stretch, to get outside of your comfort zone and not be concerned about what people think about you because they're thinking it anyhow. <laughs> Don't worry about what they will say. They're already saying it. So what do you care? Decide that, that your life has so much meaning to the planet. Decide that you have something to give. That's why you're here. So you didn't just show up. You brought something here. You're on a journey. You have a destination, mission to achieve, to do, to implement, to perform, to experience. Decide to commit yourself to be an adventurer in life. Look out on life around you. Look within yourself and say, where is it in my life that I need to make a commitment right now? Where is it that it might be for your health? It might be to be a happier person. It might be to make a difference in your community. It might be that. Where is it? I say that commitment shows up and the man or woman who has some idea, some, some dream that they've been nurturing within themselves and no one believed it, no one saw it for them. That they weren't masters at it, they weren't experts at it. No one would build a statue and ever call their name and recognize them. They never made it to the front page of the newspaper, but they had something that was theirs, something that, that was their baby, something that they loved and, and they believed in, and they just did what they could with what God gave them with their dream. Commitment shows up. And people that are willing to give themselves a chance, who look at their lives, look within themselves and say, I know, I know that, that this just cannot be it for my life. I know that there's, there's something I'm supposed to do. I don't know right now. Or maybe you do know. Maybe you do know and you've talked yourself out of it. And I understand that. Because I, I I'm, I'm late. I've, no, no, no. Everything happens as it should. I, I got the courage to step out, to, to become committed. I was, I was seriously not serious before. And I decided it took me some time to build up the courage to become committed because it frightened me. So I understand wrestling with it. I wish I can tell you I've been doing this for 20 years. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. I'm just glad that, that I decided to become committed before I left here. And wherever you are, that you're going to commit your life now and let it show up in your contribution let it show up in what you have to share